All right, what's crack a lack in YouTube? Ball five here with a replay. This is Gen Seven. Are you straight insanity? And uh, yeah, this team looks like like my team actually looks like like I just like got this team. I can. I'm gonna give a shout out to All Star. I don't know if he actually made this, but uh, I don't know if he made it, but I know he passed it. And it looks like a Gen Six UU team before the Alakazam ban. And you know me, I love me some Gen Six UU. I think this might actually be a Gen 6 UU team. Like, that's what it was initially built for. I'm leading off with Heliolisk. I'm gonna Volt Switch. He leads off with Celebi, gets a Volt Switched on. I'm just gonna bring out a, a Escavalier. I was gonna bring out Entei, but Escavalier is probably a safer bet, even though these like to run Hidden Power Fire. But, um, like, no one's real enough to do that in turn one. No one says Heliolisk has dry skin, so I'm gonna click Hidden Power Fire. He actually just gets up his rocks. I knock off Dawn Fan's choice ban. I'm switching to Swampert as opposed to Gliscor because of, or that's actually Gligar. But I switch into that so I don't get knocked off. Even if it was a Gliscor, I'd still switch into this to not get knocked off. But he has got the seed bomb. What a counter team. Nah, I'm kidding. I don't know why he's got the seed bomb. Nah, it's on it's an offensive Dawn, Dawn fan and uh you know he's breaking water types with it. That's pretty clean. I don't know if Rotom Wash is in the tier, but that would be a really epic lore. And uh, he goes into Alomomolo, which means we're setting up Calm Minds. This is Life Orb, Calm Mind, Alakazam. We don't play around. He went for the Mirror Coat. He's about to get lit up now. And I'm just going to Calm Mind again because uh, he went for Mirror Coat. Unless he was Waterfall or Knockoff, he couldn't do a thing about it. If he was Knockoff Aqua Jet, I was about to go cry. But uh, Celebi gets KO'd by Shadow Ball. Alakazam just like gets the six kill on him, to be honest. Like, doesn't even get another kill in this game. Alakazam just like wrecks everything. Jolteon's dead, Psychic. You thought Jolteon was surviving a plus two life orb Alakazam Psychic. Uh, I don't know what to say about you. He's gonna E-speed here. I could have gone into Scavalier, but a Scavalier can't touch Luke afterwards. Gligar can hit him up with the Earthquake, though. So I go into Gligar, switches out into Venusaur, gets Earthquake. They actually did 39, which is insane. 39 to Venusaur with Earthquake. That, that, that's a, with, from Gligar? That's a disgrace. I don't care how offensive you are. I did not believe that when I saw that, but I'm just gonna U-turn back into Alakazam and something else dies. Like, look at the like something else died anyway. Like, look at his team, and that's gonna die to Psychic. Oh wait, no, he's gonna switch out into Lucario, but like that makes a difference. Luke is dead too, and Alakazam is just lighting this guy up. In fact, he lit him up so much he's just gonna forfeit and get out of here because Alakazam just like whooped him. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.